Well, in Washington, very sad news. An arrest has been made in the case of body parts that were found in a Seattle neighborhood recycling bin. Investigators now say they belong to a woman who was reported missing last week. Maria Guerrero explains how police were able to connect the two cases. We watched as crime scene investigators brought out boxes and several pieces of potential evidence out of Ingrid Lines' Renton home. Investigators returned to the house at 6 after police confirmed Line was murdered, parts of her body dumped in a recycling bin in Seattle. I almost got sick. I mean, it's, I just talked to her. It's really hard to have this kind of news this close to home. Neighbors last saw line Friday evening. She told them she was going to drive to the Mariners home opener with a date, adding the man didn't have a car. It is not known if she actually made it to the game. On Saturday morning, line's ex-husband came to her house with their girls. Line and her SUV were gone, but her purse and phone were inside, leading him to call 911. At 418 on Saturday afternoon, a man in Seattle's Central District called 911 after finding what are described as three body parts, including a foot, packaged in his recycling bin. Hours went by before Seattle investigators learned of a missing persons case in Renton. Chief O'Toole explained how they worked together to connect the cases. A photograph of the missing person was obtained by the homicide detectives. Based on observations by the investigators, the victim was tentatively identified. Initial test confirmed it is line. A search warrant served in Snohomish County recovered evidence leading to an arrest. Officers say there are no other suspects right now. Neighbors want her killer brought to justice. He needs to go down for what he did. Justice for Ingrid. No one deserves this. No one.